Bob, I don't know if you're ready for semi-auto yet. We're about to find out. Hey everybody, Brad C here. This is the FX3 and FX4. Now you have the standard home defense shotgun here, and then you have the more tactical version up here at the X4. And we're going to take a look at both. Now if you're not familiar with Fed Arm, they're located in Fort Smith, Arkansas, and they import guns from Turkey, from a company called Hunt Group. Now both these are going to have synthetic stocks, 18.5 inch barrels. Now these come with these nice rubberized protectors. I'm going to go ahead and take those off. Let's take a look at the FX3 here to start with. I'll tell you what, for a budget shotgun, this is a really nice recoil pad. One screw, you can take this off. This is hollow inside, and you can actually store things in there if you wanted to for some sort of survival situation. Standard push button safety, red you're dead. Now both of these guns have the little sling attachments on both ends. This one here is part of the magazine tube. You got a dovetail where you can attach optics. I will not be messing with this. I may put a little bit of orange paint on there. Now both these shotguns are 4 plus 1 capacity, and they'll take up to 3 inch magnums. Now here you have your bolt release button. Now the FX4 is a little more tactical. It's got the pistol grip, and I'll tell you what, this is one of the most ergonomic grips you're going to ever feel. It's uh, I've heard a lot of people say it's kind of squishy feeling, but it's sturdy too. It's hard to explain. Now the sights are a little more advanced on this FX4. You've got ghost string sights, fiber optics. You've also got a flash suppressor up here, and it is threaded on there, and you can remove that if you'd like. Now tip to tip, both guns are 40 inches long. Now, one modification I'll be making is I will be cutting this swivel off here. I'll leave the stuff in there of course and then I'm going to attach my own sling to this. This is a backbone made by Tough Grid Paracord and it is a beautiful sling. If you haven't seen my review on this I'll put links in the description but it is really nice. Made in the USA top quality. I'm going to give you a shot of what it's going to look like on the gun once I get that modification done and there we have it on the standard version the FX3. Okay we're going to take this out to the farm and test it out but just in the hands in here it feels really good and the action on these works really nice as you can see it's slick now if you want that to stay back again there's a little button down here you just pull that back now when you pull it back it stays and of course you got your bolt release button there you go feels like a really good weight it's not super light but it's lighter than most now, everything appears quality on this I mean, I don't see anything negative other than, like I say, I'd like to switch these out, but that's more of a preference. I mean, for the price, I mean, my goodness. Okay, I'm going to switch Bob out here now. Now, the FX4 definitely has more of a tactical feel to it. I mean, obviously, the pistol grip here really feels nice in the hands. Ghost ring sights. You've also got a picky tanny rail up here if you want to put some sort of optic on here. Okay, the action on this is going to work the same. I mean, it just has a nice, natural feel to it. Okay, FX3. Give her a shot. Okay, FX4, semi-auto. See how it goes. Nice. Good deal. Okay, final thoughts on the FX3 and FX4. I took all the Fed Arms shotguns out and I put 100 rounds through the top ones and I put 50 rounds through this little guy and he was the only one I needed a recoil pad for. After about 20 shots he started to sting. These no problem at all. As far as the shooting, absolutely flawless. I mean a semi-automatic shotgun every time you pull the trigger goes bang. What more can you ask? Okay make sure you like, subscribe, check out the Amazon links below to help support the channel and you can check me out at bradctv.com.